A very good evening and welcome to Town TV. Tonight we are in the Select Car Leasing Stadium for Carabao Cup action. Here is Ipswich Town come to face Reading of Skybet League One. The Championship visitors looking to continue their excellent start to the season. Good little ball into the channel. It's going to bounce all the way through and it's been fluffed by the keeper and bundled in. Difficult to see who got the last touch for Caelan Vickers, the one closest to it. And Reading have the breakthrough after just a minute and 15 seconds. Plenty of bodies inside the box. It swung in towards that near post. Flicked on by Taylor, unable to do anything with it. The shot. That's uh, another chance to send one into the box. You just see Williams lurking on the edge of the area for anything that will fall his way. It's straight into the keeper, Boyce Clark. He sends it high into the area. It's not well away at all. The follow-up header is safely collected. McIntyre nodding it forward. It comes back to Ladapo. He's got a bit of space in behind suddenly. Again, support on the overlap coming. He's going to look to drift inside and have a go himself. Beaten away by the keeper, Boyce Clark. Hutchinson. Floats it into the box. Keeper thought about collecting and then decides to leave. Support from Tuma two. It's two against four. With more arriving, though, for Reading. Plenty of runners on this near side as it almost finds a way through. And Williams. A really good defensive recovery from Brandon Williams. That's a cracking ball in the meantime over the top to find Hutchinson. Two in the box waiting. Ladapo is the furthest forward. Humphrey's in there as well. Hutchinson gives it back out wide. Harness floats it in. Ladapo with the header. Couldn't quite make the connection that was needed and there was no finish at the back post either. Speed is essential when Reading are sitting in like this. That's a lovely ball by Williams down the left channel, though. It's because Humphreys is in support as well if he wants to be used. Taylor feeds it inside to Harness instead. He tries to turn and face goal. There's a bit more of a spring in his step suddenly when he's seeing an opportunity to attack and find a bit of space. He has some, but he's quickly closed down. Sends it into the box, takes a deflection, and he's headed away from McIntyre. Comes back the other way, and it's a decent effort from Taylor. Struck first time from the edge of the 18-yard box. The game actually developed, but every time it comes up to him, pops it off, gives it away just breaks that, breaks the flow down. Hutchinson does well down towards the byline, all the way across goal and turned in. That is the equaliser the town have been looking for. Right place, right time. Humphreys wheels away in celebration. And the youngster, he's off the mark this season. I don't know whether it'll go down as a... His goal, will it go down as a... A deflected goal, but it was brilliant again from... Hutchinson. Travelling support encouraging the shot there as well, but he goes across to Williams. Fired in, back towards Bagus, and he got the touch on it, but just couldn't direct it towards goal. I think they're trying to force the sail to get him out. Ball over the top for Ladapo, who's almost got there, went straight into the goalkeeper, may have poked it towards goal, but it's not going to have the run on the ball to find a way to creep over the goal line. First real sight at goal for Freddy Ladapo. Look keen to try and get onto it too. Good to see the official allowing play to continue. This is an easier chance for the forward. Second time is the charm. Beautifully finished from a delightful ball that split the Reading defence. And Towner ahead. And it is Freddie Ladapo who, when he gets chances like that, he just doesn't miss them. Coolly tucked past Boyce Clark. Three bodies just on the deeper part of the penalty area, but it was collected after the deflection by Boyce Clark. And he immediately tries to launch the 20-year-old forward Kelvin Ehati batting on man getting onto the ball baking into the box and tucking it away Ehi batting on man strikes we said he was the danger man and he's proved to be exactly that with four minutes to go plus stoppage time collected by the captain Evans gives it short to Taylor he's knocked over play continues Ehi batting on man lays it across opportunity perhaps to have another go Plenty of staying forward for the second delivery as well. Elliot trying to fire it in. It's got very slow and laborious, hasn't it, in the last five minutes or so. Well, it's gone scrappy as well, isn't it, both times? Flicker in trouble just for a second. After 90 minutes in the Carabao Cup second round, it's Reading 2, Ipswich Town 2. And it will now be a penalty shootout. And it'll be Connor Chaplin first, though, for Town here. Gets us off on the right foot. And the man with the armband finds the top corner. Silhouetted in black. Savage stepping up for Reading. Forget the silhouetted in black. Slicker makes the save. Sir, the Ipswich dominance hit. And Taylor, cool as you like from 12 yards. Another one of the youngsters in this Reading side, but Slicker 
doesn't even have to make a save. It balloons over the top of the crossbar and Town are through to the third round of the Carabao Cup on penalties.